this is a photo here of my grandfather and my uncles on what's called a, it's a log boom in what was called the Skookum Chuck Narrows on the Shushwap River. They were regularly crushed in these logging adventures and they would have to break up these log jams with dynamite. They would lose their hands, their fingers. Almost all of my uncles and grandfathers and great uncles had missing fingers. It was pretty exciting way to grow up. And so I actually followed in my grandfather's footsteps when I was uh, in my teens, you know, girls weren't actually in, allowed to go into forestry. We were, um, you know, we were supposed to go into nursing or education or something. And so um, it was kind of an unusual pathway for me. And I was really lucky at the time that, that UBC, where, where I went to university, had just opened its doors to girls. And I was able to start out doing forestry. And this is me when I'm in my early 20s working for a logging company. So that would have been in the late 70s and then the early 80s. The whole logging practices had shifted. And they shifted from this small scale horse logging family operations to big industrial clear cutting. And so that's how I started out my career is, is looking at big industrial clear cutting, which was so different than what, how I had grown up. And right now in British Columbia, we're really grappling with the fact that we only have 3% of our iconic old growth rainforest left. Going back to my own neighborhood my own, where I grew up. This is the Shushwap River where my grandparents, the Samard family, had homesteaded, but it had become a place of clear cutting as well. And that you can imagine the impact that would have had. And the changes are cumulative and we're seeing that signature on the landscape now. This is, an, is actually a picture taken about 15 years ago of what our landscape looks like. So I grew up in a, in a landscape of old growth forests. British Columbia, Western Canada, is, and I would say of the West of, of the United States as well, has shifted from a landscape of old growth forests to a landscape of clear cuts with only small pockets of old growth forests that are left. There are huge implications for that. We've converted these old growth forests to plantations. And this is what these plantations look like. Clear cutting means taking away all of the trees and then they're replanted to one or two species. In this case, Douglas fir, this is a monoculture, meaning one species. And then they're cultivated or weeded and tended to get rid of all of the other, or as many of the other plants as possible to favor these trees. With the idea being that if you get rid of the native plants, then all those resources will be available to grow big fat trees. 